Well, hello and welcome to the last episode of the year. You know, I thought it'd be cool to do kind of like one of those year in review things where we look at the biggest stories of 2017, but it was kind of intense, like a lot of gnarly stuff happened. So I don't know, maybe it won't be so intense if we put music underneath or something. Uh, check it out. Well, 2017, it was a year to forget. Checking the news became pretty stressful and lots of people were upset. But before collective amnesia has a chance to take hold, let's take a look back on the year and we'll just see what unfolds. Well, women, they marched down on the state capitol, which is pretty damn brave because there's some creeps under that dome. And it's not just Norm McAllister and his prohibited acts, but the legislature won't name names because their policy is so lax. You guys, it's a secret. We take care of it in private, okay? Well, there were hundreds of protests and most were pretty chill, but Middlebury students, y'all really went for the kill. And it's hard to stay civil when racism appears. And holy shit, you guys, the racists were so busy this year. They spray painted hate speech on everything you can see. And high school students said racial slurs with like no penalties. And a substitute teacher taught kids the Nazi salute. And a pizza boy went to Charlottesville just so we would all know that he was a douche. And internet trolls, y'all really gave it all that you got. And South Burlington adults, you're obsessed with a mascot. What the, the wolves? That wasn't the mascot when I was in high school. What about me? I, I'm, I'm gonna sue you guys. What, what about me? The city of Rutland is so afraid of refugees that they kicked poor Mayor Loris right back out on the street. And an immigration crackdown meant more trouble at the border and a little racist gnome sending out threatening orders. But Vermont officials, you know, they all stood their ground. Even Governor Phil Scott, which made his Republican friends frown. But boss, we want to be fascist too. Can't we just be a little bit fascist? And the state passed a budget with little to no arguing, but Governor Scott still vetoed it to stop teacher bargaining. And that race car driving governor also vetoed the weed. So the state of Vermont started putting CBD in everything. Yeah, well, have you ever tried ice cream with CBD? What about truffles? How about beer? What about dog food, dog? There were goat thieves and school threats and our data got hacked. And a windstorm knocked down power lines and coffee machines got attacked. And Burlington teachers, well, they all went on strike. And a gay bar got boycotted for a name that no one liked. And Jane O'Meara Sanders, she caught the attention of the FBI. And her husband Bernie won't talk to us, but I think he's a pretty chill guy. I mean, he would have won. Are we, are we really going to pretend like he would not have won? Come on. The city of Burlington, it remained nice and zany. And there's never any shortage of people complaining that bike lanes are too wide or that buildings are too tall or that they don't like the redesign for the park at City Hall. Meanwhile, people got stabbed and opioids, that affects us all. But no, by all means, let's just keep talking about a shopping mall. Now, Burlington Telecom, well, that was truly a debacle. But you know what I found out? These things are called cockles. All right, well, you try rhyming with debacle. See how it goes. Well, 2017, why the hell were you so mean? We're just trying to live our lives and you just come and shit all over everything. And maybe next year is gonna be the best one yet. But even if it sucks, at least we're gonna have a target. So there's that. Thank you all for watching uh, and supporting this show. We're gonna be back next year even bigger and better than the last. And we need you all to stay positive and energized because dumb shit keeps on happening. So it's kind of up to us to, uh, I don't know, fix it or laugh about it or whatever. Anyway, I hope your holidays are truly magical and we'll see you in 2018.